Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and yes, we're in Blender, and you know what that means. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at eight RTX 4090s. Yes, eight RTX 4090s in Blender. Path tracing. So no, first of all, this is not my machine. This is Renderbox's machine. Okay, they're letting me borrow it for a little bit for science. Um, but in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do some render tests with this thing. All right, I've done this same scene in the past before, so you can refer to it. So first things first, we're going to do with one RTX 4090. So that being said, let's go to the edit preferences. So you can take a look at the settings here. I have one 4090 set for both CUDA and optics. The CPU is the Pro 5995WX64 cores. I'll exit that out. Our scene here, we have... 1440p, 2560 by 1440. This is what I've been doing because I found that 1980 and 720 doesn't, it doesn't really scale that good. So we're going to crank it up. So let's take a look at our render settings. We have cycles, experimental, GPU compute. We're going to be rendering at 2048 samples, denoiser off. You already know how you feel about denoiser. It just mushes it when there's motion. I just denoise in post if I need to. So here it is. Here's what we're doing. Pretty basic scene. You can do the same exact thing with your machine if you want. Press F12 and let's see what happens here. Okay, so that rendered in 2 minutes and 26 seconds. So I will save this. One GPU. PNG is fine. RGB. And I'll save that as an image. So 2 minutes and 26 seconds per frame. And then what we'll do is start enabling some infinity stones. I mean, some GPUs. Eight. And by the way, if you want to see this machine, put I'll put the link in the description below so you can take a look at this spec-wise and stuff. I know it comes with three PSUs, 1,600 watts. Um, I know some of y'all wanted to know that. So, And we're back in the screen. I'll just press F12 and see how fast that goes. So roughly two minutes and 26 seconds, 75 to render out 1440p at 2048 samples. 34 seconds. Path traced. Cycles render. At 1440p. So as you all know, I just uploaded a video last night. I rendered a meta human. Right? 1920 by 1080p, 2048 samples. 1300 frames. And it took 37 hours. Crazy. Now, I know what you're thinking. This machine is $40,000 and up. And obviously, this is out for a lot of us. But I know some of y'all out there have access to this right here. This is exciting because you don't necessarily need to have a render farm anymore with 4090s in your arsenal. In the long run, I'm pretty sure this is going to save you a lot more money up front by just buying these machines and using it to render your shorts, whatever you have to render in Path Tracer or whatever, than paying for a render farm. Let me know in the comments below. That's just me speculating. I, I, I'm just speechless because eventually my hope is one day this would go to other softwares, real-time softwares, right? And can you imagine rendering that fast in path tracing mode? So let me close this out. And so, so that was 2048 samples. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bump it up to like 4096 samples. Because why not? And let's take a look and see the difference between the render times, right? So let's press F12 and let's wait for this to render. Forty six seconds. I doubled the samples, and it was only like I don't know twelve seconds longer. This is crazy, man. All right, so I'm gonna do one more. This is just a curiosity in me. All right, this is just me being curious now because I wouldn't do this not for a long time, right? Not for at least five years. So I'm going to save this here because what I'm going to do 
I'm going to increase this to 3840 by 2160. And again, I want you to do this if you want to follow along. Just be very careful with your machine. How much from 40 some seconds will this be? So this is Ultra HD 4K, Path Trace, 8 GPUs, and 4096 samples. So F12. One minute and 20 sec. I'm out of here, bro. I was just kidding. One minute and 20 seconds, 4K, 4096 samples. Again, I'm going to go back to my rendering time with that MetaHuman path tracing. I was rendering at a minute 20, a minute 30 for a 1080p, 2048 samples per pixel. And that just minute, that just rendered a minute 20 per frame. 4096 samples, y'all. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more of this, some different scenes, because... I want to try it out with different kind of aspects. Again, big thanks to Renderboxes for letting me test this out because path tracing is going to be the future. There's no, there's no going back. It's going to be where we're going to be heading. Um, but my goodness, let me know in the comments below what y'all think, man. Uh, this is this is the fastest machine I have ever tried, hands down. Insane.